Good morning everybody. Today we are at Harley Park and the Ian Dipple Lagoon. To get here from Surface Paradise you can take the 731 bus or the 747 bus, change at Southport and then get the 704 or the 711 bus to Parker Street and that will drop you off at Harley Park. You are more than welcome to bring your furry friend but your furry friend must be kept on a lead. Just admiring these fish. Aren't they lovely? Look at this fantastic picnic area that is available and you have a beautiful view out onto the Broadwater. Look at that. I've just headed a bit north from Harley Park and if you wanted a bit of a walk yourself you could head along this path which goes up to bigger waters and it takes you along these fantastic views of the broad water and what a lovely day we have today. As always there are plenty of spaces for you to stop and have your picnic with beautiful views. As we head down there's also this pavilion available for use. We have a drinking fountain and a tap for your dogs and here is the ropes playground available. This pavilion was dedicated to the Bith family in 2001. The Bith family came from Scotland and were some of the first settlers in the Labrador area in the early 1880s. As with all paths you are reminded just to keep to the left and pedestrians don't block the path and cyclists please sound your bell when passing. Unfortunately your furry friend isn't allowed onto the beach so your dog will just have to stay on the lawn area. And here we go, we've made it to the Ian Dipple Lagoon. This lagoon was named after Ian Dipple in honour of the world champion water skier who was tragically killed in a skiing accident in November 1999. One of his greatest achievements was winning the Sydney Bridge to Bridge race with the use of only one arm due to a tendon injury. Look at how beautiful this is. Wow, completely free to come and enjoy yourself. Hello seagull. Hello. And the water is crystal clear. It is unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. Here we go, the lifeguards are coming on duty now. Here's another example of the water fountains that are available and if you've bought your bottle, you can fill up your bottle here. There are also barbecue facilities available and as always you are encouraged to clean up after yourself. There are plenty of picnic areas available and some also are included under the shade. Perfect. There we go, we've made it to the Ian de Lagoon. There are showers available and also a drinking fountain is here too. To our right there are some more barbecues and there is a cafe ahead and this is also where the toilets are located. Here is a musical instrument sculpture and if you hit it, it does actually make a noise. Hopefully you'll be able to hear. Haha, <laughs> fantastic. And there we go, there's the lagoon. This sculpture was designed by Steve Langton and was constructed by Hubbub Music. It was funded by the Queensland Government Community Renewal Programme. And if you are interested, there are group fitness classes available. And here is the playground that is themed like a ship. Fantastic. I found a pelican. There are normally lots of pelicans here and there is daily feeding at 1.30. In addition to the pelicans, there are plenty of seagulls, so do be careful when you're having your food. I'm sure they'll try to grab a bite. Across the water from the Ian Dipple Lagoon, you'll see where we did the Federation Coastal Spit Walk. And then a bit further down, you may be able to see in the distance the roller coasters of SeaWorld. Oh, one pelican. Oh, there's lots of pelicans actually over there. Here's another one coming into land. Absolutely amazing. Of course, as there are lots of pets, 
here our koala here is designed with pelicans pelican koala ha 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 good one one happy pelican something out of Jurassic World. Do 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 <laughs> At Harley Park there is also a public boat ramp available for use. I've just walked a bit further south than Harley Park, not a long way at all, and I found a bike rack. This is just a bit further south than Harley Park, but what a great place to stop to have a picnic and take in that incredible skyline view. Wow. So this is a view of Southport and surfers. Incredible. So there we have it. That was Harley Park and the Ian Dipple Lagoon. Everything is available from toilets, barbecues, drinking fountains. Don't forget to bring your swimmers, of course. And if you want a walk, you can head up north or head along the Esplanade and you can also follow the water and head south in the direction of surfers. Thank you very much for joining me. Until next time, bye!